This is a brief overview of how to create a campaign and upload your ads using the Native Ads Self-Serve Advertiser system. First, you would want to name your campaign. For brand name of site, this refers to how the display name will appear on your ads. So if your website was mydomain.com, for your brand name, you might put something like my domain. By default, this UTM tracking code here will be appended to the end of all of your advertising URLs. So this will help you track the campaign using Google Analytics. We highly recommend that you do not edit this field. For your device targeting, you have your choice of desktop or mobile. And then you're going to choose the type of campaign. Now this is important because you're going to decide if this is going to be a direct response type campaign or a sponsored story. Sponsored story is also known as editorial. For instance, if this is an article, if it was direct response, this might be something related to, um, you know, how to get, you know, how to lose 30 pounds in four weeks or how to make money online. Those type of ads are generally referred to as direct response. If you are going to create a direct response campaign, then we do have a suggested bid price in terms of the CPC rate. This would range between 65 cents to $1.50. The minimum is 25 cents for any direct response type campaign. For sponsored story, we do uh, have a suggested starting bid of between 10 and 25 cents with a minimum of three and a half cents. Choose what your spending cap is going to be. This is going to be the amount that will be for the spending period here below. So if you have a budget of $1,000 a day, type in a thousand and select daily. The flight dates, this is going to be the duration of your campaign. So if you'd be starting it today and it has no end date, this is going to be an ongoing campaign. Um, you can have run continuously here ticked by default. It will run until you pause or uh, decide to end the campaign. For geotargeting, you can choose which specific countries you'd like to target or if uh, you'd like to target all countries by default, you don't have to do anything here. If you were going to target just North American countries, you could type in United States and then Canada. And then categories. So you can choose the categories for your campaign that you want to target. So if you want to target um, anything related to health, so this could be, say, health and fitness. This could also include food and drink, which is related to health. And if there's anything else you thought um, was relevant to this campaign, you can enter it here. When you're ready to move on and upload your ads to your campaign, you would click Save. Now we're at the Ad Inventory screen with three different methods for uploading your ads. What we recommend is the Bulk Ad Creator. So this can create combinations of your ads very quickly. This is great for conducting A-B testing. We'll get back to how this works in a moment. Alternatively, you can upload your inventory individually, so one ad uh, at a time. So this would be one URL, one title, one description, and then uploading one image. And then you can click Upload Ad, and your ads will appear at the bottom here in this table. If you want to upload your ad inventory using an RSS feed URL for your site, you can click Import. And all you would do is you would paste in your domain's RSS feed URL. Commonly, it may be slash RSS at the end or slash RSS feed, whatever that's going to be. Choose the date range of the content that you'd like included that's uh, in the RSS feed. So if it was the last three weeks, you could enter, you know, today's date is the end date and then a start date of three weeks pre prior. The maximum number of ads to upload from the RSS feed batch. So if you wanted no more than 25, you can select that. And once you're ready, you would click scan RSS feed now and all the options would appear below for you to uh, select. If you wanted to go ahead, you would then click Upload Ads. Now back to the bulk ad creator. So this bulk ad uploader will allow you to upload five images at one time that can be then uh, comboed with up to five titles at one time. So if we wanted to create three combinations, you could enter in three titles and then add your description. This would apply to all of the ads. 
and then of course your destination URL. And then you can easily drag and drop the images right here. And they're instantly uploaded. If there's anything you wanted to remove, you may do so by clicking remove file. And then once you're ready to upload your ads, you would simply click generate ads. Once this is done, all of your ad combinations will be put together. You can see here that I've got three ads using the same image with my three different titles, the same URL and then my description, and the same for the other images here. If there's anything that I did not want to include, I can simply click the X on the far right side to remove the ad. Once I'm ready to upload these ads to my campaign, I would click Save and Upload Ads. The ad approval process may take up to one business day for our team to review. And of course, be sure that you have updated your uh, account information with the most current payment method so that you can fund your account for your campaigns to run. You want to check the balance located up here in the right, in the, uh, right up here in the upper right hand corner. And if you need to make a, a payment, you can add your payment method here under billing and then you can proceed to funding. The options, of course, are credit card and PayPal.